What is up, guys? It, we are back, man. Two two episodes on a weekend. We got a lot more coming. We got another recruiting video drop in to, to later today, most likely. Got some coming tomorrow. Got some interviews set up with the latest commitments to a bunch of different SWAC schools. So stay tuned for that. Also, more content available at our website, thebluebloodspod.com. Go check that out. Save that website. You're going to want to check it out. We're going to have the most updated content over there. But Southern continues to put on on the recruiting trail, man. They've been addressing some needs on the defensive side of the ball. Corian Harris, Jason Dumas, and some of the guys that they just recently landed, now they're addressing the offensive side of the football, getting another wide receiver, which was a huge need coming into the offseason. After losing Marquise McClain and a few other guys, that wide receiving core was extremely thin. They landed a bunch of guys in the early signing class, but now – August Pete the third, former three-star Rice wide receiver, is headed to Baton Rouge to join Dooley's new offense down there. And this guy comes proven. He really does, man. You know, coming from Rice, 6'2, 185, from Louisiana, played at Northwest High School. And when you look at what he did just last year, he posted career highs over 30 catches for 494 yards and three touchdowns in only eight games. That would have led Southern's team by almost 100 yards last year. He led the team with over 16 yards per catch and averaged over 60 yards per game. And his biggest performance came against Western Kentucky, 133 through the air, nine catches. And when you go back to 2020, he missed the 2020 season with an injury, caught, a, caught the first touchdown pass of the season for Rice, missed the rest of the season, season with injuries. And as a fr- and as a redshirt freshman in 2019, after his redshirt year in 2018, had 17 catches, 144 yards, made five starts as a redshirt freshman. But going back to high school, this guy was a three-star prospect according to 247, a top 300 receiver in the country, a top 90 player in the loaded state of Louisiana, held offers from Rice, Texas State, Jackson State, Southern Navy. Decided to go to Rice, but at the high school level, down at Northwest High School, he was he was on a roll, man. 37 passes, over 900 yards, and 14 touchdowns as a senior. He was he was Northwest High School's first FBS recruit as well, leading them to the quarterfinals of the 3A playoffs. 17 touchdown passes as a junior and was a standout basketball player, too. As you can see, that makes him so dangerous in one-on-one opportunities. He does a great job high-pointing the ball. And it goes back to his basketball career where he was a district MVP in a three-time all-district selection of basketball, averaging over 22 points per game in his career, and he has a 43-inch vert as well. This guy can go up there and absolutely ball out, man. And he plays he he plays so big. I mentioned he's only – he plays a lot bigger than 6'2", 185. He just has a big frame, and he's not afraid to go up there and get the football. And when you're looking at what Southern needs, they really needed some experience – At the wide receiver spot, yes, they addressed it in the transfer portal and in recruiting this year, but they really didn't have anyone coming back that had a wealth of experience. And you get August Pete, who comes in with multiple years at the FBS level, was playing was playing high level football in the CUSA, and I think he's going to be an immediate impact guy for Southern, especially with the type of offense Dooley is going to bring in and try to run. When you're looking at their wide receiver additions you got Isaiah Taylor from Coffeyville led Coffeyville in passes and catches I mean pat pass catches and yards last year Darren Morris out of Baton Rouge coming in from the high school level you also got Taj Col- um, Column the second from Walnut Mississippi transferred in from Northeast Community College and was an all district selection with over 38 touchdowns Jordan Dupree from Baton Rouge comes in over 600 yards and seven touchdowns his senior year. Reggie King transfers in from PV, another guy who has seven games in his true freshman season, leading PV to the to the SWAC championship. And then Cassius Allen, 6'4", 210, first team all-conference wide receiver out of Kilgore. Southern did an excellent job addressing their wide receiver needs going into the 2022 season. And I think 
And for me, Pete is going to be a perfect red zone guy just because of his ability to get up in the air, high point the football, and even over big corners, he is able to jump with them, has a very, very strong – he has a very big catch radius and also very strong hands in one-on-one coverage, and he is going to be able to fight for the football. This is a huge addition. I think – Pete also can serve as someone who can play multiple positions. You see in the highlights, he can play in the slot. He can play outside. And that type of versatility with all these new pieces in this offense for Southern is really good to have a guy who is going to feel comfortable in multiple positions as you work out the kinks in this new offense, in a new system, at a new school, which Dooley and the staff is going to have to do. I think August Pete is a huge addition for Southern. I'm excited to see what he brings. I think his experience, and like I said, his ability to just high point the football and win those and have those tough catches downfield. That is something Southern was missing last year and losing Marquise McLean, who is a similar wide receiver like that. This is an excellent addition because you already got Howard at the tight end spot. You just need a depth and talent at the wide receiver spot. And now Southern has that. I'm really liking this team's chances to go into this year and win that division. So man, stay tuned for more swag updates right here, man. But August Pete, the third, headed to Southern to show up that wide receiver spot. Comment below what you think of this pickup. Hit that subscribe button. Also, article on this pickup will be on the thebluebloodspod.com later tonight. So check that out there as well. But until next time, guys, the Blue Bloods are out. Mm-hmm.